The Tesla CEO facing a deadline today. He has to explain why he should not be held in contempt of court over a tweet that he sent last month. Here's what he wrote in that tweet. Tesla made zero cars in 2011, but will make around 500,000 in 2019. Now, the Securities and Exchange Commission says that the tweet violates an agreement that says Musk's tweets about the company must be vetted. Joining us now is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Vetting, Judge. Good morning Good to you. Good morning. Well, you remember uh, last year he tweeted that he had an extraordinary amount of money in the hands of an investor ready to invest in his company, and it had an effect on the market. Fund funding secure. Funding I mean, secure. Funding secure. Right, yeah. right. And then he, then, <laughs> he he leaked, the then he leaked out the number and all that stuff. And the SEC came down very hard on him. <clears throat> it was not a judicial proceeding. It was amicably resolved. A $20 million fine. And as you said in the introduction, he had to have his tweets about Tesla vetted by a team in the legal department. He did not do that last week, so they've moved to hold him in contempt. His papers are due this morning. I checked right before I came in, and they're not filed, but lawyers file everything the last minute. They're not due until 9 o'clock. They're not going to be in court this morning, but this morning they will articulate their argument. What is this argument going to be? Ah, what I tweeted everybody knew anyway it was nothing new, and it didn't move well, the market. Well, not about the funding secured. No, no, about the, the, the recent one. So, is he going to go to jail? No. Is he going to lose his position as CEO? No, he's still a majority shareholder. Uh, but there probably will be some sort of a fine and maybe tightening of the screws uh, just a little bit. The SEC cannot go lightly on him because he's a character and a celebrity as well as a fabulously successful uh, entrepreneur or they will lose their clout when they want to regulate other people who do the same thing but not, are not as well known. Hey, can you make this a law though? You got to get your tweets vetted? You can if you if you foul up and you get you get <laughs> fined by the SEC. Yes. When they go after you and essentially with charges and you come to a settlement and you agree that Correct. your tweets will be vetted by somebody legally within the company and then it doesn't happen. One thing, he did correct this um, production level tweet right after he that first tweet. He issued kind of a correction or a clarification. But he's continued to poke the SEC. That's his biggest problem. He referred to them as the short seller enrichment commission. Yes, yes. Sometime and, after the and settlement. you know what? It's, it's funny and there's an, an argument for it, but you don't taunt the alligator. Just like Roger yeah. Stone, you don't taunt the judge that uh, that can control your uh, your freedom. Is the there SEC is, really an so, alligator? They're more like a panda bear. Well, whatever you want to call them, they, it's like they can the they can get in the middle of his business and regulate him out of it if they can show that his uh, his behavior was inconsistent with the requirements of the Securities and Exchange Act. So how, how would they have known that that tweet wasn't vetted in the first place? Are, are they monitoring every single tweet that he does and who vets That is a very are. good question. That they, is. That's they must question. have. There must have been some acknowledgment uh, that it wasn't vetted. Marie asked a very good question a few moments ago. Is it a law that your tweets have to be vetted? No, it's not. But often when... It's part of when, the settlement. Yeah, you know? when, you, when you enter into a settlement agreement, you uh, do some things that are not necessarily what the law requires, but what your adversary requires in order to end the dispute. And that's what happened. And here. at a publicly traded company, you would think that every tweet is monitored if it's a tweet by an executive at the company, one of the top five executives, because it's considered public communication. Correct. You, 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 so, you uh, would, right? That's true. It's public communication. It's a public communication which can affect the decision of investors yeah. and the value of, uh, of their equity, and it can't just come off the top of his head. It's got to be something consistent with company policy. Well, speaking off the top of his head, this yeah. latest thing, too. Yeah, it's that way. surprising announcement. David Dagan reported at the top of the show, Tesla says it's going to be keeping more stores open and it's going to be raising prices. But this is Dagan just two weeks after the company said it would do the opposite. Less than two weeks ago, the last day of February, they came out, uh, Tesla came out and said, we're shutting most of the stores, we're going all online for sales, and we're cutting that. prices on all the vehicles by 6%. And now it's going to do the opposite. It's going to keep stores open and raise the prices on most of the vehicles. So question, can they change their minds on something this profound? Answer, yes, of course they can. But they must reveal to the public, to consumers and investors, immediately as soon as they have made that decision. So investors... Investors are not deluded into accepting what the original statement was. So that statement, 
we're now keeping our stores open would make the SEC happy. They couldn't care less about about the the economics. They only care about the truthfulness of the statement and the speed with which it is released. And they did that last night. So it was an email that Elon Musk sent to employees and a blog post that was available to the public that was released roughly at the same time. You must have had your iPhone set that if something came out from Tesla, it woke you up in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm not quite He's got that, Google alerts about Tesla. I am not quite that big of a door, <laughs> but it's close. <laughs> Who's not rooting for Tesla, though? Right. Right. Because right. he is a character. For Tesla. But, you know, he likes to poke the short sellers. That was what that, that initial tweet was about, funding secured. Then he just decided he wanted to poke the SEC as well. Right. That's dangerous. That is dangerous. Now, the $20 million came from the corporation, not from him, but he's the biggest shareholder. Yeah. And he's a big risk taker, so not surprising yes. he'd be the one that's... Yes, but this, I think this will cost him. And we talked about this this last week with the, the pot smoking on the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, his boy. His, um, via SpaceX, his security clearance, he had to reapply for his security clearance and, re and publicly acknowledge that he has smoked marijuana. Right. Even though it's about to be lawful everywhere. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's another story. That's true, will, too. Almost, will every, it, will almost it, everywhere. Federally, you think it'll be legal? No. But the states. You but think the, I think states. the feds will, uh, as they did in the Obama administration, not interfere in states mm -hmm. where it is. What, what are the next five states that are going to legalize it? Uh, the next New York, few, New York and New Jersey, which would, uh, which will be huge. It's already legal in California. It's legal in the nation's capital. Well, Cuomo has right. suggested that that he he he'd like to go that way. Yes, New Jersey's very very close. Mm. The the issue is taxes. <laughs> and Hickenlooper. Surprise, surprise. Hick Hickenlooper. Right. What kind of revenue was raised as a result of Hickenlooper making uh, it, it legal? In not as much as they expected. Really? A, a nice number, but not as much as was predicted. Judge, good to see you. This oh, morning. pleasure, guys. Thank you so much, Andrew Napolitano. There.